Hello, everyone, again, this is Antonio, and I'm coming at you with another exciting video. I know a lot of times, you know, when you want to get into the stock market, things are not always what it seems. People don't take the time and show you or uh, even the terminology sometimes in the stock market can be a little different. So I definitely want to take my time and make a video about the stock market terminology. Now, for people that don't know me or don't know anything about this channel, on this channel, we speak about stock, cryptocurrency, personal, and business credit. So you see the thumbnail, you see the title, please like and subscribe to the channel. We're in the process of growing this channel. So we want to add different style content on this channel in those categories. Now, this video is for the people who want to learn how to trade stock. I want to get more into that arena of teaching how to trade stock. And this is where we at. So let's keep going. All right. So we're going to start off talking about the terms. I put pictures next to a lot of the uh, descriptions. These are going to be brief descriptions. They're not going to go into three and four paragraphs because then that would be like a master class, two and three hour videos. But uh, this video probably will be sitting at like 25 minutes. So the first one we're going to talk about, when you hear people talk about what does the stock term apes mean? All right, that term came from Wall Street bets. Um, they talked about when they say the apes, they are the apes are the retail investors who are bullish on heavily shorted stocks like GameStop, AMC, uh, Sundial was one of them, Naked Brand Group, which is now Centro was another uh term so um that that's how what all of that fall into so that's where the term uh apes they are talking about basically retail investors that's bullish on a stock all right let's go to the next one all right so let's talk about asset allocation asset allocation is the implementation of an investment strategy that attempts to balance risk versus reward by adjusting the percentage of each asset in an investment portfolio according to the investor's risk tolerance goals and investment time frame also i want to give a huge shout out because i got a lot of these definitions from uh, investors place so all of them didn't come from investors place but i definitely want to tell you where they came from so i'm not pretending like i created this terminology myself this terminology is not new if you might be just new to the channel of new to learning about stock. And then I'm going to do another video talking about crypto terminology in the future. Bond. A bond is a fixed income instrumental that represents a loan made by an investor to a borrower, typically corporate or government or governmental. A bond could be thought of as an IOU between the lender and the borrower that includes the details of the loan and its payments. Bonds are used by companies, municipalities, states, and sovereign governments to finance projects and operations. Owners of bonds are debt holders or creditors of the issuer. Bond details include the end date when the principal of the loan is due to be paid to the bond owner and usually include the terms of variable or fixed interest payments made by the borrower. Now, I'm going to be honest. A lot of this stuff is going to be, it's going to fly over your head. You might need to watch this video twice so you can start understanding. People go to school to learn these same terms, right? And all, all I'm doing is I put the put together this information so you can have an opportunity to understand what we are putting in front of you. All right, bearish is a term for being pessimistic about a stock's price, believing the price will drop. Traders can think of long as another word for buy. If you're going long in a stock, it means you're buying it. If you're already long, then it means that then you bought the stock and now own it. So, Let's repeat that once again. The highlighted is you pessimistic. 
bearish means basically you are against the stock or you're going to short that stock by selling it or you know transfer it so just to give a, a brief you're pessimistic about a stock's price bull a bull is a stock market speculator who buys a buys a holding in the stock in the expectation that in the very short term it will rise in value whereupon they will sell the stock to make a quick profit on the transaction so when you are bullish on the stock that means that you are most you you are for the stock if you are bullish you are against bearish bullish you're going to hear these stock terms over and over and over in the future so this is uh i try to compile some of the most um used stock terms all right let's talk about capital gain while capital gains are generally associated with stocks and funds due to the inherent price fertility that can also be realized on any security that is sold for a price higher than the purchase price that was paid for it realize capital gains and losses occur when an asset is sold which triggers a taxable event unrealized gains and losses sometimes referred to as a paper gains and losses reflect as an interest or decrease in the investment's value but are not considered a capital gain that should be treated as a taxable event i know these words might seem like you back in school or these paragraphs but it's necessarily uh what you will have to learn if you want to learn the stock market in the in its full capacity compound interest compound interest or compounding interest is the interest on a loan or deposit calculated based on both the initial principal and the accumulated interest from peri previous periods thought to have originated in the 17th century Italy compound interest can be thought of as interest on interest and will make a sum grow at a faster rate than simple interest which is calculated only on the principal amount all right diversification diversification is a risk management strategy that mixes a wide variety of investments within the portfolio and diversified portfolio contains a mix of distinct asset types and investment vehicles in an attempt of limited exposure to any single asset or risk the rationale behind the, this technique is that a portfolio constructed of different kinds of assets will on average yield higher long-term returns and lower the risk of any individual holding or security and that's what diversification means is a risk strategy that mixes a wide variety of investments in a portfolio so when you hear people say well i'm uh have you diversified they mean they're asking basically are you in different plays are you in different stocks like for example have you invested in bitcoin central uh are you invested in dogecoin are you invested in lucid motors tesla microsoft you are diversify amazon you are diversifying because you're in different plays that's what that breaks down to all right dividend a dividend is the distribution of some of a company's earnings to a class of its shareholders as determined by the company's board of directors common shareholders of dividend paying companies are typically eligible as long as they own the stock before the x dividend date dividends will, will may be out as cash or in the form of additional stock like i said again some of this stuff gonna go over your head you probably want to watch this video two or three times if that's what you want to know all right we're going to talk about the dow jones you hear people talking about that a lot dow jones was not a single person but two of the three people who founded dow jones and company in 1882 dow uh charles dow was the dow and dow jones and elbert jones was the jones and charles Ber berg tresser was the company's third founder 
1889, they went out to uh, to found the Wall Street Journal, which remains one of the world's most influ influential financial publications. So that's some information that you did probably didn't know. Dow Jones was two people. Dow Jones, Elwood Jones, right? So uh, Charles Dow, I mean, was the Dow. Elwood Jones was the Jones, but it was a third person. And that's Charles Bird Tress, uh, Tresser was the third person. And they found it not only Dow Jones, but they found it the Wall Street Journal in 1889. So all of this stuff being put together. I hope that this video find and you take your time and 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 um, go through it because I'm I compiled a lot of great information. What is equity? El equity typically referred to as shareholders equity or owners equity for privately held companies represents the amount of money that uh, that would be returned to a company shareholders if all of the assets were liquidated and all of the companies that were paid off in the case of liquidation. In the case of acquisition, it is the value of company sales minus any liabilities owned by the company not transferred with the sale. All right. What is an ETF? Or you may hear ETF. You may hear index funds. Uh, it's all of the same. So some people might say, well, don't invest in stock. Invest in ET funds. This was what this breakdown too. Exchange traded fund. That's what ETF mean. Exchange traded fund is a typical, I mean, it's a type of security that tracks an index sector, commodity, and other asset, but which can be purchased or sold on a stock exchange, the same as regular stock. An ETF can be structured to track anything from the price of an individual commodity to a large and diversified collection of securities. And uh, ETFs can be even structured to track specific investment strategies. So you may hear people say, well, just take 500, invest in an ETF. So basically what you're doing is you are taking that money and invest it in a number of companies. For example, you might have a piece of Microsoft, a piece of uh, Tesla, a piece of, you know, just different companies that you may have a piece of and that's what uh, ETF, some people might say ETF, index funds, is all the same. All right. What is a fiduciary? A fiduciary is a person or organization that acts on behalf of another person or persons, putting their client's interests ahead of their own with the duty to preserve good faith and good trust. Being a fiduciary thus requires being bond both legally and ethically to act in the uh, in the other's purchase interests. A fiduciary may be responsible for the general well-being of another, a child's le le legal guardian, but often the tasks involve finances, managing the assets of another person or a group of people, for example, money managers, financial advisors, bankers, ins insurance agents, accountants, uh, executors, board members, corporate officials, and all fiduciary responsibility. So one of the biggest person that was probably under a fiduciary, now you probably heard the term used a different way, was Britney Spears. Her father acted as a fiduciary on her behalf because he he was able to take over uh, the responsibility of her assets. So, and she fought and got from under that, but this is something that happens a lot and you may not know that it happens. What is fixed income? Fixed income broadly refers to those types of investment security that pays investors fixed in interest or dividend payments until its maturity date. A maturity investors are paid a repaid the principal amount they had invested, and that's what a fixed income is. What is a gamma squeeze? And that's why I have the hawk there. So when you think of gamma, you think of the, the hawk, right? When stock prices experience rapid shift, the conditions may be ripped for a squeeze. In this scenario, 
investors may find themselves buying or selling shares of stock outside their normal trading pattern in order to minimize losses. Gamma squeezes can occur as a result of widespread speculation about where stock price may be headed. For example, if a company is struggling financially, the institutional investors may decide to short the stock in the belief that the price will fall. What is a growth stock? A growth stock is any share in a company that is anticipated to grow at a rate significantly above the growth, I mean the average growth for the market. They'll, uh, these stocks generally do not pay dividends. This is because the issuers of growth stocks are usually companies that that want to reinvest any earnings they acquire in order to accelerate growth in the short term. When investors invest in growth stocks, they anticipate that they will earn money through capital gains when they eventually sell their shares in the future. Uh oh, I think I went too far. Sorry about that. What is a hedge fund? Hedge funds are alternative alternative investments using pool funds that employ different strategies to earn active returns or alpha for the investors. Hedge funds may be aggressively managed or make use of derivatives and leverage in both domestic and international markets with the goal of generating high returns, either an absolute sense or over a specific market benchmark. What is an index fund? And this ties back into e, uh, uh, ETF. An index fund is a type of mutual fund or exchange traded fund with a portfolio constructed to match or track components of a financial market index, such as the Standard and Poor's 500. So you might heard the term S&P 500. An index fund. An uh, index mutual fund is said to provide broad market exposure, low operating expenses, and low portfolio turnover. These funds can follow their benchmark index regardless of the state of the markets. What is an initial public offering or an IPO? These are terms that you probably heard before, and I'm just trying to break these terms down. An individual public offering refers to the process of offering shares of a private corporation to the public in a new stock in insurance. Public share insurance allows a company to raise capital from public investors. The transition from a private to public company can be an important time for private investors to fully realize gains from their investment as, as it, it typically include share premiums or current private investors. What is an individual retirement account? An individual retirement account is a tax advantage account that includes used to save an interest for retirement. The IRS also uses the term individual retirement arrangements and also IRAs to broadly refer to individual retirement accounts individual retirement immunity annuities and other i mean other trusts and custodial accounts that act as personal saving plans with tax advantages for setting aside money for retirement what are key performance in indicators or kpis this is something else that you probably heard of as well key performance indicators and KPIs refer to a set of quantifiable measurements used to gauge a company's overall long-term performance. KPIs specifically help determine a company's strategic, financial, and operational uh, achievements, especially uh, uh, compared to those of other businesses within this uh, same sector. What is long-term debt? Long-term debt is debt that uh, matures in more than one year. Long-term debt can be viewed from two perspectives, financial statement uh, reporting by the issuer and financial investing. In financial statement reporting, companies must record long-term debt insurance 
and all of its associated payment obligations or it's his financial statements. On the flip side, investing in long-term debt includes putting money into debt investments with maturities of more than one year. What is a mutual fund? Now, I know you probably heard people talk about mutual funds before, but a mutual fund is a type of financial vehicle made up of a pool of money collected from many investors to invest in securities like stocks, bonds, money market instrument, instruments, and other assets. Mutual funds are operated by professional money managers also I mean, who allocate the fund's asset and attempt to produce capital gains or income from the fund's investors. A mutual fund portfolio is structured and maintained to match the investment objectives stated in its prospectus. What is naked shorting? Now, this is something that's really, really harming the market. Um, that's why I have that person with the hoodie in here is done on purpose. Uh, I really think stock like Central has been haunted with naked shorting. Uh, companies like AMC is another proponent and GME uh, components of naked shorting. Naked shorting is the illegal practice of shorting selling shares that have not been affirmatively, affirmatively affirmatively determined to exist. Ordinarily, traders must buy a stock or determine that it can be barred before they can sell it short. So naked shorting refers to short pressure on a stock that may be larger than the tra uh, tradable shares in the market. Uh, this really kills some company when, companies when, that, uh, when they... Um, do those methods all right so what is nasdaq nasdaq is a global electric marketplace for buying and selling securities nasdaq was created by the national association of securities dealers which is now known as the financial industry regular a regulatory authority the marketplace was created so that investors could trade securities on a computerized speedy and transparent system and it commenced operations on February 8th, 1971. So the NASDAQ is 51 years old. What is the uh, NYSE? And that is the New York Stock Exchange. The New York Stock Exchange is a stock exchange located in New York City that is the largest equities base exchange in the world based on the total market capitalization of his listed securities. All right, let's talk about this term. You may see this one day, and this is called the straddle option. A straddle is an option strategy involving the purchase of both a put and called option for the same expiration date and strike price on the same underlying uh, security. This, uh, this the, the strategy is profitable only when the stock either rises or falls from the strike price by more than the total premium paid. If the stock trades side to side, you won't make any money. What is a short straddle option? And I'm gonna do some videos talking about strike uh, straddle option, so you know, so you can get a better logist of uh, doing this in action. A short, a short straddle is an option strategy comprised of selling both a called option and a put option with the same strike price expiration date. It is used when the trader believes the underlying asset will not move significantly higher or lower over the live option contracts. A bond option. A bond option is the option contract in which the underlying asset is a bond. Like all standard option contracts, an investor can positions through either bond call or bond put options. In general, all types of options, including bond options, are derivative products that allow investors to take speculative bets on the direction of underlying asset prices or to hedge certain asset risks within a portfolio that takes us here what is a portfolio 
A portfolio is a collection of financial investments like stocks, bonds, commodities, cash, and cash equivalents, including closed-end funds and exchange-traded funds. That's, that's that word again, ETFs. People generally believe that stocks, bonds, and cash compri comprise the core of a portfolio. Though this is often the case, it does not need to be the rule. A portfolio may contain a wide range of assets, including real estate, art, and private investments. Well, this is a prospectus. You probably heard me read that about eight slides ago. I mentioned the word prospectus. A prospectus is a formal document, a document that is required by and filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission that provide details about an investment offer to the public a prospectus is filed for offerings of stocks bonds and mutual funds the document can help investors make more investment decisions because it contains a host of relevant information about the investment security what is a quarterly earnest report i know you probably have before but we are actually waiting on the earnest report with some of the major companies now, a lot of companies have the earnings report by February. Some um, uh, a quarterly earnings report is a quarterly filing made by public companies to report their performance. Earning reports include a term such as net income, earnings per share, earnings from continual operations, and net sales. By analyzing quarterly earnings reports, investors can begin to gauge the financial health of the company and term determine whether it deserves their investment. What is a RIT ETF? Real estate investment trust RIT ETFs are exchange traded funds that invest the majority of the assets, equity, RIT, securities and related derivatives, RIT ETFs are passively managed around an index or publicly traded real estate owners too frequently are the msci u.s writ index and the dow jones u.s writ index which cover two about two-thirds of the aggregate value of the domestic publicly traded writ market i know that was a little tongue twister there so make sure you come back and watch the video again all right, we're getting closer to the end, but I definitely uh, want to give you the best terms that I found. Uh, what is the risk future fee, uh, risk free return? Risk free return, a radical return attributed to an investment that provides a gen, uh, guaranteed return with zero risk. The risk free rate of the interest that would be expected from an absolutely risk-free investment over a specified period of time. How do S&P 500s work? Now, this is a brief paragraph. This may help. S&P 500 features are the type of derivative contract that provides a buyer with an investment price based on the expectation of the S&P 500 index future value. are closely followed by all types of investors and the financial media as an indicator of the market movements. Short selling. Short selling it is investment or trading strategies that speculates on the decline in a stock or other securities price. It is an event that should only be undertaken by experienced uh, traders and investors. Short squeeze. Now, you might hear this often as well. You definitely heard uh, the other term, uh, short selling. A short squeeze is an unusual condition that triggers rapidly rising price in a stock or other tradable security. For a short squeeze to occur, the security must have an unusual degree of short sellers holding position in it. The short squeeze begin when the price jumps higher unexpectedly. The condition plays out as a significant measure of the short seller's condition. Uh, coinc coincidentally, 
decide to cut losses and ex exit their positions. What does stock mean? A stock is a form of security that indicates the holder has a proportionate ownership in the uh, corporation. Corporations issue sales stock to raise funds to operate their businesses. Two main types of stock, common and preferred. The investment time horizon is the time period where one expects to hold an investment for a specific goal. And uh, investments are generally broken down into two main categories, stocks, which are riskier, bonds, which are a little less risky, and the longer time horizon, the more aggressive or riskier riskier a portfolio uh, and a portfolio investor can build. What is an uptick? Uptick since the preceding transaction, an uptick occurs when the securities price rising in relation to the last tick or trade, and the uptick is sometimes also also referred to as a plus tick. What is volatility? Volatility is a statistical measure of the dis, uh, dispersion of returns for or market index. In most cases, the higher the volatility, the riskier the stock. Volatility often measured as either the standard deviation or variance between returns from the same security or market index. And what is weighted average? Weighted average is a calculation that takes into account the varying degrees of importance of the numbers of the data set. In calculating a weighted average, each number in the data set to uh, multiply by the uh, predetermined weight before the financial with XRT. XRT is an extension printed after ticker symbol for the stock. It indicates that the stock is trading on an X, uh, X rights basis. XRT is an abbreviation for the words X rights. X rights mean that the buyer of the stock of a stock price anymore because their rights have expired. XRT is printed on the ticker tape and displayed on the electronic ticker for clarity and to avoid disputes confusion about where the rights currently remain. Yield. Yield refers to the earnings generated and realized on an investment over a particular period of time. It is, it's expressed as a percentage based value of uh, or face value of the security and finally what is zero investment portfolio a zero investment portfolio is a, a collection of investments ha that has a net value of zero when the portfolio is assembled and therefore requires an investment to mm -hmm. take no equity stake in you for example an investment may short sell a thousand dollars worth of stocks in one set companies and use the proceeds to purchase a thousand dollars in stock in another set of companies. So, you're able to obtain some great information from this video. Um, I tried to keep it short. You can go back and look at this video again, but we want to break down all of the uh, terms when it comes down to uh, that we know terms. Don't get me wrong that we can pout rather. So this is Antonio with Team Tigio. Please like, comment and subscribe as we'll be coming to you with more videos in the future. And once again, we will see you next time.